Oh man, well it's a very big deal. Why? Because Kaiser Chiefs have chosen to make Cape Town Stadium their home base for some of their games this season, in part to give the stadium a financial boost, but also to connect with their fans. And there are legions of fans down here in the Cape, and in fact across the entire country. Needing no introduction, Kaiser Motong Jr. joins us in studio. My brother, it's been far too long. Morning, far man. too long. Welcome down to Cape Town. You gotta love the fact that we've shifted home base. What do you make of moving down to the Cape? What has the response from the fans been like? First of all, thank you very much for having me. It's an honor and a pleasure, Graham. Uh, for me, I just wanna say um, it's definitely the Cape of love and peace. You know, <laughs> this is our, it's our home away from home. Our second home has been one of the greatest experiences we've had. And I think uh, a very, very intelligent idea to come to Cape Town. We know we have a huge fan base here. And of course, you know, the brand, you wanna bring it to as many people as you can, you know, yeah, so, sure. and bring it to their homes. So this, we came in here. And I think uh, we're looking forward to every, every, every smile that we can see in the stadium today because we are here to give the people what they want. I absolutely love it, man. And the fans have been stopping me on the street asking for tickets. Yeah. They are so desperate to get into that stadium. Of course, the business at hand, though, Super Sports United, it's a yeah. bit of a tough ask. What do you need to do on the field? First of all, I mean, it's a big one. Please, you know, first a call to all the fans. It's 60 rand a ticket, you know, get it from Compu Ticket. And the best thing to do is to buy it early. You know, buy yeah. today, go there. We know it's our last game in Cape Town. Uh, for the season, so uh, people can do this. He great, says with a tear in his eye. It is a tear in his eye because it definitely has been the best experience. Big one, you know, um, Super Sport, a great team, great players, yeah. uh, a great squad, a quality team. Uh, and of course, for us, you know, it's crunch time in the league, you know, so every point counts. I was going to ask, is, is it too late? Ten points behind Downs, you know, when I last I spoke to the camp, it, it, there was still a lot of positivity yeah. about being able to claw your way back up. Is it too much to ask now? What's the, the general feel in the camp? Well, I mean, you take it a game as it comes. You know, people can say it's a cliche, but you yeah. really have to go every game, every three points counts. Ten points, I mean, we were in the same situation, I think, two seasons back. Where yeah. We were actually leading by 12 points, 15 points against Sundowns, and we actually gave it away. So anything's possible. Uh, the guys need to go out there and just give their best. And also the supporters, the 12th man, if they can come in and, you know, uh, scream out their voice to, to cheer the boys on, I think that uh, anything's possible. You know, you've got to have faith, and that's why you go out every day on the field. I absolutely love it, man. You've had the opportunity, of, of course, of playing abroad, playing in Europe. What do you make of Leicester leading the Barclays Premiership at the moment, well, I'm a bit bro. biased, because I'm actually, I'm, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I don't think you should ask me that question. I'm Spurs, bro. But, uh, <laughs> actually, let me just leave now. No, but I think it's, it's, it's great for football, uh, especially a team like Leicester, you know, last year they were, you know, in, 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 the, in the Championship, came up like this, and I think it shows you that, you know, the dreams, dreams can come true. Uh, hopefully they won't win the league. I'm, a, I'm an Arsenal fan, I hope they can win it. You can but it just shows you that anything's there. possible. Like we said, 10 points, whether you're in a Championship team, if you're just consistent and you work hard, you know, anything's possible. When you look at the standard of football being played in SA at the moment, yeah. how, how far off are we from the international standard? Um, do, can we let go of that mantle now? Are we playing at that level? I think, you know, on and off, we don't give, on and off the pitch, we don't give ourselves enough credit. You know, uh, commercially, I think the PSL has been marketed at a very high standard. It's one of the top leagues in, in, in the world. And I think on the field, we have a tremendous amount of talent. You know, yeah. it's just that sometimes, I know uh, we haven't achieved what we, what, we, what we would like to achieve, but I think we'll get there. We have amazing talent. We have uh, an awesome administration now in, in, in South African football. So I think if we, if, as time goes on, we'll, we'll get to where we need to be. Obviously, you've achieved incredible things in your career. Thank what do you, you say to a young Kaiser coming up through the ranks now, very quickly? What, what words of inspiration? No, it's just, it's just about, you know, following your dreams that, you know, anything is possible in life. And at the end of the day, if you have hope and you have that dream, you know, and you work hard, anything is really possible. People say that, but it, it really is the truth. That's why we, we promote our, our soccer clinics and, and, and go on and speak to the youth because they are the future. You know, they are the next Chiefs player, the next strikers, the... The, the, the next Leicester City player. So, yeah, yeah, the next wish Arsenal him. player, possibly. Man. Exactly. <laughs> You're a servant of the game. Thanks, Thank you so much for coming Thank through. You and so Thank you for bringing me. the circus down to Cape Town. We're yeah. absolutely loving it, man. Thank Kaiser you, Kaiser Jr. joining us um, ahead of a very busy sporting weekend. Oh, inspiration all around. Time now to get into that weekend spirit, though, with a new release from Gwen Stefani. Cat.